What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I'm doing really different videos. I am trying to showcase RVs that I haven't featured, even though I featured this one before, but I'm trying to show you 2022 closeout models. The reason why is because everyone has, you know, been thinking RV prices are just insanely high right now and it's a bad time to buy it, so they've been holding off, and that has caused dealers to bring their pricing down significantly for 2022 model closeouts. And what does that mean to you? That means models like this DRV that's in front of us that you might have traditionally thought was not attainable might actually be attainable. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be like travel trailer price, or it's gonna be as much as like a Rockwood or maybe a Montana high country, but this is certainly a lot less than it would have normally cost had you shopped for this thing like a year ago. And I want you guys to start guessing and throwing in the comment section what you think the discount is on this unit, the actual price. Give them a monetary number, whether you think it's 25 grand, 40 grand, 200 grand, whatever you think the discount itself is, because I haven't gone over what the actual MSRP is, so it would be unfair to actually say that. But let's just say the MSRP is well into the $200,000 range. But what do you think the discount is on this one? Anyways, we're gonna take a close look at this unit and I'm gonna show you that even these ultra luxury units aren't immune from steep discounts because it's a 2022 closeout model. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so we always go over the numbers first and DRV likes to put them on the pin box or at least the wings. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 22,000 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 3,400 pounds. This thing rides on 17.5 inch H-rated tires, not even G, but H-rated tires. This has twin 9,000 pound axles. So you're gonna transfer a lot of weight to your tow vehicle. This really should only be towed by the most high payload option dually you can purchase or even a heavy duty truck like uh, you know some Kenworth trucks, some Volvo trucks, a lot of trucks that have been converted to tow something like this just because it is a lot of weight and most trucks aren't gonna be able to handle it. And I would venture to say you're gonna see about 5,000 plus pounds transfer to the back of your vehicle. So you wanna make sure you have a truck that's capable of towing something like this. In the medium duty market, there are some medium duty haulers that you could get like sport chassis trucks. Um, but if you're looking for a conventional pickup truck, you'd probably wanna go to like an F450, 550 chassis cab or even a Ram 4500, 5500 chassis cab truck because most of those will have the towing capacity and the, the actual payload capacity to be able to support this. So anyways, let's hop inside of this DRV and see what it's all about and the price. So this is the MS 41 FKMB and see what it's all about. All right, DRVs are always beautiful. They do a lot of really, really great things. So I'm gonna quickly give you like a pan around of what's going on in here so you can see just what's going on. And then we'll go to some pricing. Before we go to the pricing, which you may have already got a glimpse of, this has an MSRP of $235,389. So got a lot of options, residential furniture. Uh, let's see, it's got the partial paint on it. So this has partial paint with some graphics that have been overlaid onto it. All right, so we also have the third AC tied into the ductwork on this one. Let's see if there's anything crazy because you can get a lot of really, really crazy features on these. Has a full-time package on it, H-rated Goodyear tires. So yeah, a lot of really, really cool upgrades. But as you can see from the interior, it's also got a lot of really cool upgrades in here. What's interesting is this is the same cooktop that comes in the Palomino Paws that we've been reviewing. So same cooktop that you get in there. And this is actually the same oven that you get in there as well. Anyways, let's take a look at the actual pricing now. MSRP, 235000 Discount, $82,221 off of that price, which makes this unit $153,168. That is a steal for a DRV. That price right there would have been a great price for a DRV before COVID, before the pricing went crazy high. That would have been like an absolutely insane price. So the fact is you're seeing these units 
with discounts as long as you buy a 22 model, a closeout model. And this, you know, if you're watching this in 24, then a 23 closeout model, you see huge, huge discounts. So if you can be patient, if you can take advantage of the fact that the RVs were so expensive then, the discounts on them absolutely make it worth worth looking at now. But that is absolutely an insane price for such a large, beautiful DRV unit. But let's go ahead and kind of continue walking around this unit. Probably gonna see all soft closing cap cabinets with nice magnetic holds. Probably all soft closing drawers. Nice contrasting island area. Beautiful, beautiful solid countertops with a nice waterfall edge to it, real thick right here. Nice dual basin stainless steel sink, upgraded sprayer. If you wanna look at some of the wide DRV reasons, in case I missed them out there, you're gonna see a full water manifold system and it's a copper water manifold system. We'll show you it when we get out there. Um, the amount of construction materials that goes into this is absolutely insane. And I know there's a few videos, like just a couple of them circulating out there of some frame issues with older models that are like 10, 15 years old. Um, honestly, frame issues can occur on any RV of any year, even custom built RVs. It's a lot of a lot of scenarios you pull these things through. So I'm not saying that it's not a really, really bad day for the people it happens to, but I certainly wouldn't judge the entire DRV brand off of a few issues. I, I personally wouldn't recommend it. I do feel bad for them and I'm, I hope they get it fixed and I hope that their problems get resolved, but I've seen it across all brands. It's, it's really just the chance that the frame that's in that specific unit might have a problem, you know? Same with anything, even cars, trucks, SUVs, everything. Let's see right here. So, I mean, there's so many perks as to why a DRV is so nice. Plus, this one might actually have the Kodiak disc brakes, which I think it's going to have since they're showing, showcasing it right here. The frame on this thing is insane. It's 15 inches tall with three boxed sections. That's crazy. We'll show that when we get out there. The Goodyear H-rated tires as well. Three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls, so they stuff a lot more insulation in. The way they attach it, it's, it's just, they put so much into building these things. Anyways, we have our LG French door refrigerator up front here, over here, and it's nice and recessed into the wall too, so it looks really nice. Huge pantry, check this out, it's a full walk-in pantry. This pantry is bigger than a lot of pantries in homes. This is a solid door too. That's not a hollow door that you would typically see. Coming around this way, Beautiful, beautiful, nice little bar area over here. Again, all soft closing everything. All real woods, so everything in here is real wood. Nice area for coats, more storage up here. All of your controls. It has the Truma on-demand hot water system. Fuses, breakers, all of that stuff. It has three ACs in here, power management system as well has more of a residential style cloth seat. Those are your theater seats. This is your fold out sofa. So this turns into a bed. Nice windows. These are all dual pane insulated windows. So they're not the typical single pane that you would get on most RVs. MCD brand day night roller shades. So you have the screen and then you have the blackout blind. More drawers, more cabinets. Again, all soft closing. Great spot for a coffee maker if you want coffee near where you uh, watch TV. Huge TV on the wall already. Lots of storage around it. You have a 34 inch panoramic view fireplace underneath it. Looks like one door is off. There it is right over there. But they'll fix that for you if you buy a unit like this. But it gives you a chance to see that this is all real wood. It's not just pressed board. Spot for your washer and dryer in here. Your extra two chairs for your dinette which this really doesn't have a dinette, so I don't really know where you would put those chairs, to be honest. Interesting. Now check this out. Cabinetry galore. TV mounted really nice and high up. This is a full profile unit, which means the top is perfectly straight, which means every ceiling in here is gonna be super high. I think that is also a padded, a padded ceiling up there as well. Lots of wardrobe in this unit. Storage everywhere. Tons of drawers. I mean, you got drawers everywhere. This is a full-time rated unit, so it's designed for traveling around the country. Check out how tall that is. Blackout blinds everywhere, more cabinets above. Really, really nice 
end tables on the end here. You could fit a CPAP right there if you wanted. All right, stepping into the bathroom, check this out. First of all, a nice one-piece shower up here. And as I swing around so you can see the rest of the bathroom. Cabinets up top, cabinets at the end. Beautiful sink. Nice upgraded toilet even. That's a really, really nice toilet. Of course, it's porcelain. Soft closing lid. Beautiful Corian countertops. Absolutely gorgeous RV. What do you guys think? What do you think of the price? Especially the value of being able to actually afford something like this as a brand new unit. Just the previous year. Let's step outside and see what the outside's all about. Okay, starting up front, this does have the Moride rubber pin box. Gives you good dampening between the truck and the trailer, the trailer and the truck. Up front here, it's locked on that side. You can see how thick these baggage doors are. You got your battery trays, look at that. You got two batteries, you could fit four batteries, and this tray actually slides out. You got all your hydraulic systems over here as well. It's crazy. And then on this side would be your generator, if it's equipped with one. It does not look like it is, because I don't see an exhaust. Over here, one side of your pass-through storage. Once we get to the other side, I'll show you your water manifold, which I don't think you'll see it from this side. There's all of your heat ducting. It's nice you have access to all this stuff. And you see your framework. So DRV rides on an entirely different type of frame, all steel reinforced from the top and the bottom. Very, very cool. And then the hydraulic leveling system on here was actually designed specifically for DRV. You can see the 15 inch frame section. So you have two six inch box channels with a three inch box channel below it and then an additional box channel for the suspension. Cause this actually rides on independent suspension. So check this out. Goodyear G114 tires. These are the Unistil, super high end tires. Check out the suspension, full independent suspension. I believe this is a Moride suspension. Very, very cool along with Kodiak disc brakes. It's absolutely insane, the engineering that goes into this. And check out that frame. You have a six inch box on top of a six inch box, on top of a three inch box, on top of a two inch box, which was added for the suspension. Spare tire up here. Huge rack and pinion slide out mechanisms, much bigger than what's on most RVs. All right, so you got some storage for stuff right here. And you got more storage back here. Coming around back, you have a one-piece fiberglass back cap on this unit. Very, very nice. LED light strips. I love the way those lights look. Full ladder to walk on the roof. This is rated for towing. You have your two-inch receiver back here, along with trailer, trailer loops, even though I don't recommend towing with your fifth wheel. Here's your power cord reel for your 50-amp cable. Very nice. Super cool. Has a couple cable-driven slides on your lighter slides, which is interesting, because I'm not a big fan of cable-driven slides. But then you look over here and you got these massive rack and pinion slides. So they've kind of mixed it up and they feel that they use the right slide for the right area. And I'm not negative against cable-driven slides when they're used for the right application, which for your lighter slides are typically fine. You have your Truma AquaGo on-demand water system. You have all your water controls in here. Nice, dense, heavy-duty door. That's going to be the other side of your storage with your auto leveling controls. And check this out. This is going to be so cool. Full copper water manifold system. You can turn valves off independently of each other. Just imagine, you know, the cost and the complexity of actually putting this in place. This has kind of been a staple for DRVs for a long time, as well as a full house water filtration system. Very cool. And of course, the three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls, much thicker than most RVs. So they put a lot of insulation in here and that insulation can really give you a better experience if you're in extremely hot or extremely cool environments. Very, very cool. What do y'all think of this unit? What do you think of the price? Is this something you think is a more reasonably priced now in 2023 as a 2022 model? Please give me your opinion, I'd love to know. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.